years ago when we started on this journey, you told us you wanted power. This is absolutely the culmination of all of your feedback and something that we think will truly move Xbox forward. And we are back at Unite Austin Live. Welcome back. Welcome to those of you watching us on Facebook and YouTube. Thanks for joining. Um, I'm Will Goldstone. I'm one of the product managers here at Unity. I'm here with Sarah. Uh, yeah, I'm Sarah Stumbo. I am an evangelist and also a producer on the Made with Unity team. And uh, Unite Austin Live is here to give you a taste of what it's like to be at one of these conferences. We talk to a number of different people in different kind of uh, roles or ways of uni using Unity. And um, just to give you a flavor of what it's like to be here. And now we're joined by Andy and Phil here to talk about Xbox hey One. Hey, guys. How's X. it going? Yep. So Xbox. What's the difference? <laughs> There's an Xbox. With the new one. Xbox? The yeah. Xbox One X is different from the Xbox One. Absolutely. Yep. What does the extra X add? <laughs> that was a lot of Xs. <laughs> Presumably, it's 10 times better, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so basically, yeah, the Xbox One X was designed to enable true 4K for any developer out there and make it as easy as possible. Um, with the CPU and GPU and memory upgrades that we that we made to support true 4K and HDR and all, any title out there, so awesome. Yeah, much bigger um, GPU primarily, so uh, almost four times the power uh, of the previous Xbox, um, which wow. is what allows that that 4K uh, yeah. resolution. So yeah, it's a real beast. Nice. Yeah. So we have something in front yeah. of us right now. We yeah. do. This is, yeah. this is this is not the standard Xbox this One is X, the dev right? Kit? This is the dev kit for the Xbox One X. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, so the dev kit's really cool. Um, it's got a um, few extra features that the, that the retail kit doesn't have just to make it easier for, for developers. Um, uh, and that, that includes uh, working on Unity. So uh, you have um, some extra memory. You have more than double the memory that you would have in the retail kit, which means for debug tools or for uh, profiling, um, there's a lot of extra capability that this Xbox can give you. Um, and yeah, and it has a, a few of the features. Um. Yeah, so actually, um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but on the front of the dev kit, it has an LCD panel that is completely programmable by the oh developer. Nice. Oh, awesome. So if you want to add any extra profiling tools or anything like that right to the front of the kit, so you don't have to connect any tools from a PC, you can actually just see it while the game's running right there. Uh, that's actually pretty handy. Uh, before, you used to have to go into settings menus and stuff like yep. that to like look at the IP address or what OS is installed, and all that now is just right there in the front of the kit. I was so. going to say, this is a very different proposition to any dev <laughs> kit that I was used to. It used to just look like a some kind of mainframe computer. <laughs> the size yeah. of a table or something yeah, like that. Just yeah, with yeah. wires <laughs> just coming out of every perceivable angle. But yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is gorgeous. It's really nice. It has um, <laughs> also has uh, an SSD drive, um, which is specific to the dev kit. And that means that um, for, for big Unity projects, if, you know, if you've got a game that's got very large assets, you can actually deploy to this kit far quicker than you could before because cool. of the speed of the hard drive and also the transfer uh, system has changed yep. as well. Which yeah, is we really have a transfer device to, uh, yeah, as quick as possible, just get the, the bits over to the console. Yeah. So yeah, the iteration time is a lot faster. Yeah, because no normally be. Unity developer is going to iterate normally uh, on, on the PC version perhaps, which mm -hmm. is, it's all on the drive already. There's no deployment. You can just hit play and away you go. And the consoles have maybe always been a little slower to, to run the game up. So this really kind of unlocks that. It means you could iterate um, almost entirely if you wanted to on uh, on the Xbox One X dev kit. And we found us, we found ourselves doing that um, at the office as well. You know, it's, it's made things much easier. Um, so this is the Xbox X, Xbox One X dev kit. I'm yep. going to get used to saying that at some point. <laughs> um, great bit of kit. But what about the idea Xbox program? How does someone actually end up working with something like this? Okay. Yeah, so if you um, go to xbox.com slash ID, uh, that's where you can apply. And we actually offer two free dev kits for every developer that gets accepted into the program. And part of that is, yeah, if you're interested in supporting the Xbox One X with a 4K title, that's something that we can provide as well. One, one uh, Xbox One X kit and then one Xbox One original dev kit as well. So, so you can test on both of them. Okay, so, so what's, the, what's the process of, of applying to, to be part of ID Xbox? So it really is go to that website, give us some information about your studio, basically your company, and then some more information about what title you're developing. Screenshots, video, demo of the, of the game is really the best case. So it's so best to kind of like, you know, get your prototype down and 
Yeah, it really is. Give you it an really idea. is better to kind of get started developing the game before you apply in the program, just to make sure that you have enough information to show to us when we go through and review the application. Cool. So obviously, Unity supports Xbox One X. Yeah. Andy, you work on that. You it make that now. possible. Yeah. So we've been we've been supporting Xbox One X for about the last two months now. Um, it's available. Um, on our uh, Unity forums, if once you're signed up as a Unity uh, Xbox developer, you There's get a that specific different build. At the moment, yes. At the moment, okay. um, if you if you go to the, uh, the the Xbox One section of the Unity forum, there are specific downloads that support Xbox One X. But the the cool thing is we've uh, we've worked hard to make sure that we can support all current versions of Unity. So going all the way back to 5.5, five, so oh, nice. so 5.5, 5 5.6, 5 17.1, 17.2, and beyond. Uh, we'll all have support for Xbox One X because we really, with Microsoft, yeah. wanted to um, make sure we could unlock as many titles, um, Unity titles on Xbox One X that are in enhanced for the kit. And of course, um, a lot of people are already in development with those those older versions. Yeah, there's there's a lot yeah, of titles sure. coming yeah. actually. Yeah, I mean we have over um, all the titles together. Uh, there's over 130 titles that are going to support Xbox One X. Um, awesome. And yeah, in that 130, there's definitely Unity titles out there that nice. you know you definitely know. We had actually uh, Tacoma running here on the on oh, cool. at the booth, uh, showing game. it in 4K on the Xbox One X dev kit. So yeah. So for a developer who has not been doing 4K, what's what's that process like of transitioning into right. um, developing yeah. for 4K? Is it a hard process? Well, be because this box is is such a monster. Um, <laughs> It's actually really, it's really easy for a developer, and I'd, I'd encourage anyone that's currently running on uh, Xbox, uh, the original, um, to, to try uh, the, the Xbox One X um, uh, development kit because it really is as simple as selecting 4K <laughs> as a resolution option um, and hitting run. And right. because there's so much power on yeah. the GPU, uh, we've, sp we've found that the, the majority of titles we've worked with so far have, haven't had to do any additional optimization to, get to run in native 4K. Wow. Um, so, and, and in some cases, they've had room to spare. So what the, you can actually do with the Unity scripting API is you can detect you're running on an Xbox One X kit. And not only can, um, will, it, will it run in 4K, but you could also um, run some additional effects if you want maybe more, more yep. you know, uh, increase the particles or perhaps different post-process. You know, you could try and fill that spare GPU power that you've got on the box. So you can ostensibly scale with platform defines and things like that to control, you know, your Absolutely. game literally just yep. ramping That's up exactly right. yep. Yep. to... And that's, that's all via just a simple scripting API just to detect which, you know, which dev kit you're, or which retail kit you're running on. Um, right. So yeah. for people who, who want to dive into this, who are getting excited, like what's, what's the best process? Because we, we spoke to um, one of your colleagues yesterday about the creator program. Yep. Um, what's the kind of key difference with this and how should people get started? So yeah, the main way to get started uh, is again, just through the ID at Xbox program. Um, if you're already in the ID at Xbox program, just reach out to us say that you're interested in uh, developing on the Xbox One X. And yeah, we'll take a look at the, at the title and um, how far along you are, and maybe we can get started that way. And how does the, the, the support process go after that? You know, say you, yeah. you get approved, um, you're, you're making your game. Um, do you guys help people out who are, who are working with the specific hardware? Or? Yeah, sure. So there's, um, there's actually a couple of different uh, avenues for support. Um, the main one I would say is uh, the, the, the Unity Xbox forum. Um, my team run that forum, and we make sure we uh, we answer as many of, of the of the support questions as possible. Um, we we not only provide the builds and the plugins for Xbox on that forum, but yeah, that's also where all the support happens. Um, but because underneath uh, Unity, we're just using the Xbox One XDK, um, you can also get support um, at the Xbox forums. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Microsoft also has a developer forum that people can show up and ask any questions they have about our APIs or our hardware, or anything that has to do with anything that Microsoft develops. Yeah, super cool. Yeah, which is cool. Um, the other thing you can do, you know, we talk about the scripting API for um, for detecting what uh, development kit, or sorry, what, what retail kit you're running on. Um, but the other choice the developer has is um, with you know with, with the power of the kit, they could actually um, do something interesting other than 4K. So they could provide 4K as an option um, for the user. But we've actually uh, set it up so that they can, if they wanted to, they could they could run perhaps a higher frame rate uh, game instead. So, oh, nice. so you could have a mode where you could run maybe 4K at, at 30 frames per second, um, but what you could what you could also do is give the user the option to switch to maybe 1080p, so slightly lower resolution, but but okay. running at 60 frames per second. So, yep. you, the great thing about this kit is it provides you know users um, a, 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 the the developers the ability to give the user that that option, you know, depending on their preference, um, oh, which so is really cool as well. Oh, so I, I yeah I I, can, I think I missed that point. So just to hammer that home. You're giving the user the choice of That's whether right. to scale, yeah. not just the developer. Yeah, the developer can can give the user that option. So, 
Uh, if you look at uh, uh, Tacoma that we've got yep. running uh, on, on the booth uh, at Unite, um, there's actually an option where you can, in real time, just, just in, the, in the pause menu, uh, you, can, you can switch between 4K, 30 frames per second, or 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's so awesome. So yeah. Fulbright are going to be shipping the game to Xbox One X? Yeah, they are going to be shipping an Xbox One Enhanced version of their title later cool. this year. Amazing. Right. Yeah. Well, well thank you guys so much. You. We're really excited about the Xbox yeah. One X. Yeah, so <laughs> and, we and we can keep this, right? Yeah. yeah, you can have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's great. Great. yeah, no yeah I've been needing one. So. <laughs> the magic of television. <laughs> we're not keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you guys. And we're going to go into a short break. And after, we're going to be talking to Ian McGillivray about Google Blocks. So stay tuned for that.